Office rivalries are nothing new, but this time the competition at work involves everybody. And the cause is a good one here. Keep that in mind. As Fox 13's Jen Epstein shows you, it involves a bunch of co-workers locked in a tight race to see who can feed the most pets. It's dogs versus cats in the ultimate office competition. The men and women at Blue Grace Logistics are out to see who can collect the most amount of food for the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. The guys are the dogs, and the girls, you guessed it, are the cats. It's not just a competition. Uh -oh. It is rabid. They're, they're waiting for me to answer that because it's that close. Oh, really? It's gone back and forth each year, and it's a... They're aggressive about winning, which provides that much more food for the animals. Every year, their donations get bigger, from 2,500 pounds of food in 2011 to a 45,000 pound supply last year. It's something we're all so proud to be a part of here. Um, you know, one of our core values is be caring of others. So we just really, it's in our blood to give back and we love animals. Blue Grace has raised so much food for the Humane Society, they've got nowhere to put it. So last month, they rented out a warehouse to store the truckloads of food. And that's kind of what Blue Grace Logistics is known for. When they do something, they do it really big. Sherry says the donations will feed their shelter animals for months and support their animals program, which helps supply pet food to the homebound and elderly in Tampa Bay. This takes the cake. We have people bring us individual bags of dog food. Sometimes companies will do a, a food drive for us, and we appreciate it, but nothing like this. It's not unusual to see bags of dog food piled up inside the Blue Grace office as the cats and dogs tally up their donations. The winners get more than just bragging rights. Last year, they got to dunk the losers. So the dogs lost, of course, and um, our CEO pranked them and brought in 600 pounds of ice and put it in the dunk tanks. It's that fun work atmosphere, along with some healthy competition, that has equaled success for Blue Grace. And for Bobby, it's only natural that his company would give back some of that good fortune. Any business that's doing very well should find ways to give back to the things that mean the most to their employees. We found that a common thread throughout Blue Grace was we all love our animals. And we specifically want to find ways to help the, the people who have those animals. And this was a, a way that we could do that. Jennifer Epstein, Fox 13 News. Look at that little Aww. face. All right, the employees at Blue Grace just wrapped up this year's fundraiser. And the drum roll, please. They raised a total of 52,000 pounds of food for the Humane Society. And if you're wondering who won the competition, the cats collected the most third year in a row. Cat owners, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Good for them and Bobby and setting the right mindset for a great company. Think about 52,000 pounds of food. That's that's a lot of food. Absolutely. All for the Humane Society. Very well done. We can all, all business owners can learn from what That's they're doing. That's a great idea. Doing it right. It's a great idea. The news keeps on going. Remember, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram when we're not.